So today I'm making a video to introduce you all to the channel and what we're going to be doing on this channel and how the channel is going to be structured and what our uploads are going to be like, what we're going to upload, what we're going to do to the cars, our projects, um, everything like that. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit about myself. My name's Callum, I'm 18, I'm from New South Wales. I've got a day 22 in Navarra. It's on two inch lift right now, two inch suspension lift. It's by Tough Dog. Um, it's been lifted for about two months now. Um, gonna get some new wheels and tires soon. I'm gonna zero offset dead hole pro comp looking wheels and hopefully some 32s or 33s. It's only on 31s right now. And yeah, it's, we're gonna do a tub chart, a touring setup. Gonna to decide whether I get rid of the tub and get a tray and a canopy, or if I just get a fiberglass canopy for the tub and see what's better, um, what I can afford. We're also going to be doing probably fixing a lot of paint. There's a lot of paint issues. There's a lot of, there's a few engine issues that we need to fix, a few oiling issues and a cooling issue. So that's some content that's going to be out soon. And, um, so with the channel, I thought we'd hopefully have a weekly or a fortnightly upload schedule, something in between that, just to try and keep videos out regularly, to try and put a lot of content out there. And it does, it's not always gonna be a huge video, like a full engine tear down and rebuild, but we're probably gonna have some form of content that we think would be seen as interesting every week or fortnight. It'll be going out forward driving, it'll be working on our cars, doing little things, even just like all getting together and going out for a quick day for me, something a little like that, or doing a trip up north or south and just trying to keep good consistent content. Uh, there's going to be a few of us on the channel, so there's going to be a few projects, which is good. It's going to be able to have, you know, good, di good different variety. We're mainly going to have four drives and probably Japanese cars, something along the lines of a Subarus and Nissans and Toyotas and stuff that's low and reasonably fast, which would be good. And we're also going to have, you know, patrols, Land Cruisers, Hiluxes, Navarros, and all that sort of stuff. D Max, BT50, anything like that will be probably on this channel. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit about how I get into cars and my background with cars. So my dad's had a few cool cars since I was a young kid. He's had a ZH Fairlane, 1976, and it had a 351 Cleveland GT engine in it, which was one of the coolest cars I've probably been in and owned. Well, I think it is. And He's also had a 4 age swapped Corolla, with twin cam, um, 1999 I think, or early 2000s. And he also had an early 70s FJ45 Land Cruiser Ute with a Windsor V8 in it. And that thing was on a four inch suspension lift and two inch body lift on 35s which was a base of a car, I'll put a photo in somewhere. And um, yeah, those are probably the three like cars that I can recall as one of the cooler cars I've seen and know of. He's had plenty of other cars, he had a Landau Coupe, he had Cortina, he's had plenty of stuff that I never got to see. But yeah, I think those are the main cars that got me into into cars as a kid. And also, I remember just, I always had a fascination with driving. I always wanted to drive. I always wanted to have my license and have a cool car. And growing up, I was a bit of a Land Cruiser fanboy. I loved cruisers and Hiluxes, which um, now has changed. I'm more of a Patrol and Navarro sort of guy, but you know, I still love cruisers and Hiluxes. It's just, I really like the GQ Patrol, which um, is probably 
the dream car to be working on right now. So if one comes up for cheap and I can get it good and I that needs a bit of work, I'd love to buy it and have that be the main focus for this channel. Now, probably the next project for this channel will be something along the lines of a Suzuki Sierra or a pit bike, something small and affordable that, you know, anyone can work on and, you know, something just fun to drive around. Doesn't have to be high power, but, you know, just something really affordable and fun and small and good to put in a, an area where you don't have much space. So, I think that'll be the next project for the channel, hopefully. We've been looking at Suzuki Sierras for a long time now. Just wait until the right one comes up. We'd love a single cab tray back and um, we'd love to do a leaf up front conversion or a rear up front conversion. And um, yeah, I think that would be a really sick car to have on the channel. I think that would um, be something really interesting. I think other people would like to say that. I think it's a, a good car. I think it's a good solid forward drive and it's just surprisingly capable you know you see that many people in jimmies and sierras just crawling up stuff that you you don't see other cars that are should be way more capable doing which is um a testament to how they're built i guess and i think we can build a really good one and you know do it budget style i think that's the main thing people like to see is builds on a budget and i think we'd be really good at it you know when not earning heaps of money or all Either the first year apprentices or working part time and you know I think that's something that a lot of people like seeing is what they can do on a budget and how to make their four drive as good as they can or their car as good as they can on a, on a shoestring budget. So for these next few videos I think the very next one will be probably fixing the paint on the roof because I've got a fair few rough spots and flaky paint that I really need to fix before it gets worse. And after that, it will be a timing chain, as if you know anything about the 2.5 litre Navarro engine, they're known for spinning the timing chain, or it's quite a common thing that happens, so that's something I really want to get on top of, because I'm getting a, a rattle and I'm not sure what it is, I'm thinking it's timing chain related or it's injector related, but if it's injector related, that's not a problem I can solve, that's just a problem that I need to take to a tuning place and get my injectors recoded or even looked at which will be also probably some content that will be coming up in the same sort of time frame as the timing chain. Now, what we're probably going to be working towards is a trip away. I think that's our focus, is sort of building the car up to do a good trip away and having it all ready, camping, touring, all those sort of mods, having a fridge, having a good camping setup, a dual battery setup. Um, I want to have new wheels and tyres by then and I just want to make the car sort of able to do some hard forward driving while also being a comfortable tourer which is you know, something I'm really keen to get cracking on and really keen to show you guys how we're going to do it and how we're going to work everything. So probably the trip will be somewhere on the New South Wales coast as you know with all of coronavirus it's a bit hard to travel in between states or even overseas so you know we're going to try and keep it local and support Australian businesses and you know get out to little towns in the middle of nowhere and go to their pub and just show you guys around and show you good places to go in Australia but you know you can go anywhere with you know a four-wheel drive and you can have a good time and how to make your experience better how to how to camp well and what we do to camp and see if you want to take anything from that. I think that's really what we're, our next few videos are going to be towards, is just a trip away and trying to get cars ready and, you know, trying to just do some really, really good base mods so we can just build on that. So that's it for this video. Um, I just want to say, like, we're going to try and keep our upload schedule consistent, like once a week, twice a week, I said that before, or every fortnight at the very least. And um, if you enjoy this video or if you want to see the content that we're going to be putting out, just, you know, subscribe and, you know, we'll try and make it as good and as professional as we can, but also, you know, try and keep it a bit light. We don't want to be too serious about it. That's not who we are. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.